Hello, this is Leon from Solitech Solutions. You'll be aware that within SolidWorks we have a number of evaluation tools available to us. I want to talk specifically around the mass properties tool and also specifically to instances where you find yourself having uh, multi bodies within your part design. Now, if your design intent is to determine exactly what the mass is of your model and you do have solid bodies that have been formed or created during your design, you need to be aware that this is going to have an impact on the final result uh, given by the mass properties um, tool. To illustrate this, um, I'm going to do two things. One is let's create a simple um, impeller. I'll start off with a revolve. And I've already, for the veins, created um, or set up a path. I'll show that now. And all we need to do is create the profile to sweep along that path. I'm going to sketch on this bottom face. make that 61 I'll we'll make this 500 all right let's do our sweep our profile is automatically um, has been pre-selected for us or I had it pre-selected and therefore populated for us and all I want to change now is to have that twist along the path and we have our result. Let me go back into that, into the properties. Now, what I'm going to do is show you the firstly the correct result that and the correct method to have achieved or obtained the correct result. And that is to make sure that this merge result is selected. Now, let me cancel that. Notice that we have a single body at this point in time if I go back to the feature properties and I change or deselect the merge accept that you will now see that we have two bodies instead of the one and to get the res correct result um, let me show you that first let's get merge back on and I'm going to be using a plain carbon steel material for this. Remember that when we do apply materials to our parts that it's not only the appearance that changes but SolidWorks actually brings in all the physical properties um, of that material for us and uses that in analysis etc. We'll apply that, close that, so plain carbon steel has been selected. We have our um, sweep merged to our revolve and to finalize this what we need to do is um, pattern this feature across here so that we have um, enough veins for the impeller to be workable. So let's quickly do that. A circular pattern. I'll pattern around this. We'll select our feature from our feature tree. I'll move this out the way. And we should be good to go. So three simple steps. I'll go back to the evaluate. Let's do a mass property and we can see 4.3 tons. Now 4.3 is the correct answer that we're looking for. Now let's go back to a scenario where multi-bodies um, are actually in place. So I'll delete that. I'm going to go back and deselect this merge. We have two multi-bodies and what I'm going to do now is actually create a circular pattern. We'll again put it around, use the edge for our direction and in this case we have to use the body and 
let's grab that our preview seems to be correct accept that and our part is looking very similar to what we already have now if you're not paying close attention uh, you may have your view something like this this looks exactly the same as what we had but if we add our lines we'll notice that or our edges if we revolve this around we can see hang on but you know what 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 is this what this is it's all these solid bodies that have been created uh, due to the fact that we didn't merge our initial um, sweep to the revolve so let's take a look at a couple of things let's go back to the mass property and the first thing that I want to look at is the weight of the uh, revolve itself we'll do a recalculate you can see that that's 3.7 ton and let's take a look at our sweep and we can see that that's 200 kilos so 3.7 um, there's eight of these veins so that's going to give us that's going to give us about 5.3 ton in total so and that's exactly what we all right let me just get rid of this and do a recalculate and that's exactly what we saw and that's how um, solid work has calculated the mass and it's actually not wrong in the information that it's giving you but what's wrong is the way that you've set this up so if we take a look at this sweep alone it's 200 kilos if we look at this we can actually see that SOLIDWORKS is using the full profile to determine the mass um, for you and again as I said it's actually right in what it's doing it's um, me as the designer that hasn't set this up correctly now if I find myself in this situation and I have many features in my tree it might be a bit um, tedious to actually have to go and f and you know go back and change all the properties an easy way if you find yourself in this situation to rectify this is to actually combine all your bodies so if we select all these bodies so um, you just do that click hold down shift and the bottom um, select the bottom body and all our bodies are selected right click on that say combine and what we're going to do in the operation type is add all these bodies together so I'll select yes to that um, or confirm that and what we'll see now if we go to our mass property is that we are back down to 4.3 instead of 5.3 so what SOLIDWORKS has done it has actually made sure that it has let me just um, go out of that it's made sure that it's only calculating the mass of this profile here and that is exactly what we were looking for so it's important when you find yourself in situations where you've got multiple solid bodies and the intent is to determine the final mass property be aware um, of the impact that this can have it's not solid works it's um, incorrect in the information it's giving you it's uh, me as a designer that has to pay attention to how um, these multi bodies will be cutting into each other now you might find yourself in a situation where you do have multi bodies and uh, you have actually modeled the part um, along this profile and it doesn't actually cut into the part that's fine because that's that's realistic um, and and fairly logical that the, the result that you're looking at will be correct but be careful when these multi bodies actually cut into each other all right so that's um, about that that I wanted to share with you so again be careful when you're working with solid bodies and mass properties and uh, thanks for watching